In this webinar, I'll show you how to migrate an Atmel Studio project using a SAM device over to the MPLabX IDE, where you can continue development of the project. In this demonstration, I have a SAM E70 explain board connected to my host machine. I'm using the Atmel Embedded Debugger, which requires only a USB cable to connect the explain board to the host for programming and debugging. In Atmel Studio, I have opened the example project, Getting Started Application on SAM. This project toggles the LED using a simple delay, responds to the buttons, and writes to a UART console. The project has the Embedded Debugger tool selected. I'll build and run the project. Once the device has been programmed, you will see the LED begin to flash. One of the buttons starts or stops the flash sequence. The program also prints to the UART console, and in Studio's terminal window, you can see the digit 1 being printed each time the LED changes state. Pressing the other button prints a message. To migrate the Atmel Studio project, open the MPLabX IDE which I have running under Mac OS X in this demonstration. Select File, Import, Atmel Studio Project. Navigate to and select the project you wish to migrate. Look for the file with the CProj extension. The target device is selected for you. The explain board is already connected, so it will appear in the tools list. I will choose the Mac version of the ARM GCC compiler toolchain, similar to that I was using in Studio. Device support selection is not required. Name your migrated project and nominate where you would like it saved, and you are done. Once imported, source files and headers from the original Studio project are shown in the Source Files folder. These are the original files not copies. You can open these files in the MPLabX IDE editor, but remember that any changes you make will also affect the Studio project. I'm going to shorten the delay and then press the debug button, which will build, program and run the project. You can see the LED flashing at the faster rate, and the flashes stop and start when the button is pressed. You can also have the UART console displayed in the MPLabX IDE. I'll use the simple serial port terminal, which is available as a plugin. As I already have the terminal plugin installed, I'll run it by selecting the Tools, Embedded, Simple Serial Port Terminal menu item. Click the Settings button. Under Windows, select COM3, however, as I am running this IDE on a Mac, I'll enter the device name. Select the required board rate, then click OK. Connect the terminal to the device, and you will see the same output we saw in Atmel Studio. With your project migrated, you can now continue its development under the MPLabX IDE. The IDE and SAM compiler is available for Windows, Linux or Mac OS X. And in future releases of the MPLAB tools, you will also be able to select the MPLAB XC32 compiler for migrated SAM-based projects.